Hey, it's Colette Dong from The Nest, and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today I'm gonna to take you through a 20 minute simple spool that's perfect for easing back into a consistent movement routine. All you'll need for the simple sculpt is a mat and an optional set of light weights. I have three pounds here. You can do it with twos or you can do it with no weights at all. Start by laying onto your back and you're gonna make a nice roll down your spine. Arms come up, coming all the way down, articulating through your spine, all the way down to your tailbone. And we're coming here on the mat. Pressing your hands to your ribs. I want you to give me a nice big inhale. Exhale, decompress your ribs down towards the mat. Beautiful, do that two more times. Nice big inhale, connecting to your core. Big exhale, think about the back of your ribs becoming so heavy. They just float down to the mat, sinking deeper and deeper. Last one like this, engaging our core. Big exhale, heavy ribs. You can gently use your hands to push them down, keeping them in this locked in position. You're gonna overarch your tailbone like there's an anchor down on your tailbone, arch your spine, and then come all the way back, imprint your spine over, curl your tailbone. It's like taking a cat cow, but we're gonna take it on the ground, and we're just trying to find neutral pelvis here before we do anything. You know, when you're easing back into your movement routine, it's really important to connect to your core first. It's probably the hardest thing to connect to, to kind of mentally, you know, wrap your head around, make that mind-body connection. And when we don't move for a while, we can lose that connection. So just thinking about the top of your ribs and the bottom of your pelvis, like a 12 o'clock and a six o'clock on the clock. And I want you to rotate your rocking towards six and then you're rocking towards 12. Two more like this. And last one, you're gonna settle into a neutral spine. So I want you to be between 12 and six, not too much six, not too much 12, neutral spine. Keep those ribs locked in. You're gonna grab your weights or no weights. And we're gonna move through our upper body. Elbows connect down towards your side. A lot of life in between those heels. Toes are reaching out. So start to reach one arm up and take it down and left arm up and take it down. We're gonna work some upper body here in this supine position. Watch your face. We obviously don't want any accidents of these weights coming down to meet your face. That is not what we're doing today. Keeping those ribs locked in and down. So this may feel really simple. You can always pick up the pace. You can always up the weight here, but I really want us to think about connecting the arms to the core actually. So often we forget that the arms are attached to the core. We kind of think about them as an isolated unit, but when you really press down through the back of the ribs in order to propel that arm towards the ceiling, you're getting all of that nice connection, that strength through the core and the arms and that correct form. That's what we really wanna to work today in this simple sculpt. It's slow, it's correct, it's accurate. We wanna make sure everything is firing up the way it's supposed to and that we're doing it right before we start to progress towards other things. Two more like this. And last one, both arms are gonna come up. Press both arms up and then I want a nice wide row to the side, think elbows out. Rotate the arms in towards each other. You're making a big triangle above your clavicles or above the sternum of your chest. So elbows are the base and then palms are the point. Take it down and up. Beautiful work. Now, as these elbows come down, let's not move our 12 o'clock up towards the sky. Keep those ribs decompressed. Core is still engaged. You know what I also love about Simple Sculpt is even if you have a consistent movement routine and you're not easing back into something, it's for all ages. Yeah, you can do this as you grow older. Four more counts. It's never too late and you're never too old to find that mind-body connection and to find joy in movement. Two more. And last one, we're gonna put this together in a combo. I want one right arm coming down, elbow to the ground. 
Left arm comes down, two wide rows. Take it out for two, press it in for two, out for two, press it in for two. Do that again, one and one. I'm going nice and slow here, boom. If you are not holding weights, there is still energy through the palm of the hands as if you were. I want you to act like you're moving through molasses. Those weights are so heavy as you push them through. All of this energy down and out. Use that breath. Beautiful, that's it. Down and up. Press. Down to the side. And last one, we're gonna add a little bit more. One and one. Nice simple combo to get us going. Out for two, up for two. Boom. Ba. Keep those pumps turned in. You're gonna fly these arms just out a little bit and press it in. We're not going too wide today. Yeah, the wider we go, the more chance we have of letting those weights take our shoulders out of place. So I just want a little pulse open and press it in right for this chest. Boom. Take it in, take it in. Yep, that's it. Eight more like this. Finding that breath, pushing a soft cloud between the palms of those hands. Three, and two, and one. Beautiful work, those weights can come down towards your side. You're gonna drop them off. You're gonna walk your heels in. Tap them with your fingertips, just making sure that they're right underneath your glutes. Toes are facing forward. I want you to think about your pelvic clock again. So your 12 and your six are gonna peel up and off. You're coming into a glute bridge, press down through your heels, activating your inner thighs, like there's a magnet pulling them together. There is a small pinch, a light squeeze between your butt and your hamstrings. You're gonna articulate through your spine. You're gonna take it all the way down. Here we go, we're starting to move into lower body. We got a little bit of upper body in there. Whew. Nice big inhale, nice big exhale. Take it all the way down. This is a lovely place to start as well. If you wanna move into squats later down the line, you wanna move into something standing, just activating the back body and finding this sensation of those hamstrings activating and pressing down, grounding through those heels is gonna set you up for a ton of success down the line. It's gonna keep you injury free. And I love glute bridges because they're actually quite hard to mess up, yeah? Even if you're pushing a little bit too hard or if your alignment isn't quite right, you're still gonna be activating that back body. So there's always things we can fine tune, but this is always a very safe exercise to tune into the glutes and the hamstrings and that back body. Good, let's not forget about our shoulders and our neck. Just give me a little breath and life to that upper half. Four more counts like this, gently rolling up, articulating through the spine, spinal massage on the ground, two more, scooping those low abs in. And last one, we're gonna change this bridge a little bit. I want you to eliminate the articulation or that wave through the spine, and you're just gonna press through those heels. Booty comes up, comes down. It doesn't need to be super high to be effective. It's just up and press it down, that's it. Take it up and down. Nice work. Up, up, down, down, good. So this one, think more like your pelvis is an elevator and you're just shooting it all the way up and less like your pelvis is attached to your spine and waving through the wind on this one. It's more of a direct press Activation, wiggle those toes, make sure that you're not cramping too much in those feet. Four more counts like this in four. Last three, two more, two, and one. Find your pulse up, tiny pulse and pulse. Squeeze, think about rotating those inner thighs in together as those hips go two inches up, two inches down from the ceiling. Eight more counts like this, eight and seven, Six, we're gonna march our bridge in four more counts. Four, it gets a little bit trickier. Three, in two, and one. Hold your pulse. Thumbs come into a fist. Pinkies are going to your hips. Give me a little pound on those hips. Make sure they're nice and even, so I don't wanna see the hips dropping side to side on this one. You're gonna lift your right leg up and march that bridge. Press down even more through your left heel. Whew, yes, back left side, hello. 
Good. So the tendency here, yeah, sometimes is to drop through that right. We don't want that because we're going to lose that activation and that support. So push deeper into your left side as that right leg starts to lift. Keep those hips nice and even if you're feeling good there. Those hands can come down if you want that tactile visual marker. Keep them up towards your hips. I also give myself a little press through the back of my hands and my triceps, back of my arms, down into that mat. So it's a nice full body. Four more like this. Four. Last three. Taking your time. Two. We're going to switch sides. And last one. Try not to take a break here. We're going to build this endurance to the other side. Same thing as you march that leg. Push deeper into your right heel. Don't dip those hips down. You might find it a little bit easier on one side versus the other. Just taking note of that imbalance. It's a good indicator of where you want to work to make yourself even in the future. Nice work, y'all. Four more counts. Give me four. Last three. Two more. Keep zipping those low abs towards your spine. And last one, you're gonna take it all the way down. We're gonna put this together in a mini combo. So you have one bridge, both heels are on the ground. Lift the right and lift the left. You're gonna march that bridge. Hips go down, boom. Take it up, march it right and march it left. Knee does not need to come all the way up into your nose. Yeah, it can be just a light lift. Take it up. and up. I love putting combinations together. It's really great for your brain and for your memory, for retention and sharpness. We're going to keep them simple today, but soon you'll be a pro. We'll be putting all sorts of combos together. Beautiful work, y'all. Down and up. Lift it up and up. You have two more. Down and up, lift it up and up. Good, pulse your bridge to the ceiling. Hold it out for eight more counts. Give me a lift for eight, seven, six, four more. You're gonna articulate down through your spine in three, in two, and one. Roll it all the way down. Make this nice and juicy before coming back to neutral. You can shake those legs out. If you need them, we're gonna move on to working the core a bit. I want you to walk these feet out towards the edge of your mat a little bit wider. Hands are gonna go on your hips again. Take a nice big inhale, reset your core like we did in the beginning. Drop those ribs down, scoop your belly button in. Hands are going to your hips. You're gonna unfurl your left leg to the side while keeping your right leg so, so stable. Give me a nice big exhale, pull that left leg back in. So what I don't wanna see on this one is this right leg wobbling as we go out with the left. Yeah, so it's not gonna look like a bunch of butterflies out and in. It's a very small stabilizing exercise for those low abs to take it up. You can even place a hand right on that right side. Slowly take that left out. It's very hard to do, actually. You really have to think about no movement, no quaking through that right side. Beautiful, y'all. Take it out. Keeping that energy through your right heel. Zip those inner thighs to bring that leg back up. Big inhale, big exhale. Nice work. Two more. Open it up. Using the core to control this movement. Exhale, deepen down through that low left side transverse abdominis to bring that leg back up. And one more. Transverse abdominis, think about where you would put your seatbelt on and it runs right under your belly button. Nice and low. Switch to your other side. No shakes and quakes. My left side is usually a little weaker than my left, so we'll see how this one's going. Drill down. You don't want that left hip to lift up. Take it all the way out. Woo, little rocks. Another helpful tactile touch, I like to make two L's with my hands, or like you're being a fake director through the camera, or a real director if they do that. If you are a real director, let me know. If that's actually a thing, take it down. Put the thumbs on the top of the ribs and then the rest of your fingertips down on those hips. It's a nice triangle. You can think about these lower abs or all of your abs really as inside this box. 
So if you press down through your thumbs, your rectus abdominis or your topmost sheath of your abs are activating. If you press down through your fingers, you get your transverse. And if you press down through the outside of those hands, we're going we're gonna to start to tap into those obliques. Beautiful work. Two more like this. And last one. Woo. Good. Arms are going to come up above the head. Palms stack. I want you to start to march your legs in one and one. This is a really stable tabletop as well. Starting to move through this intensification of the core. Yep. Finding true table. I want that knee right over that hip. And I want that shin to jut out from that knee 90 degrees. Sometimes our table ends up a little higher or a little lower. I want you to peel those heels away from your butt. Keep pressing those ribs in. This might be enough for you. And that is totally a-okay. Yeah. I want you to pretend you have a cup of coffee right on your low abs, right underneath that belly button. And you don't want it to spill over. That is how steady and scooped and stable. I want those low abs to be. If you're feeling good, you can take this up into a crunch, press the back of your head into your hands and keep marching out this tabletop, y'all. Beautiful. That's it, that's it. Two more like this, tabletop marches. And last one, you're gonna scoop both inner thighs in, both legs are gonna lift at once. They come up into this tabletop and then they're gonna come all the way down. That's it. Try to find a nice lift and a scoop and all the way down. If this feels like a lot, I want you to just keep that march going. Two more counts like this. Last one. You're going to hold your tabletop, zip those inner thighs in. Same thing. You're going to reverse your march. Your march is going to come from your tabletop. Option to have this down on the ground if you'd like, head, neck, and shoulders. If you want a little bit extra, you can have that nice crunch happening. You wanna peel the back of those shoulder blades up off the mat as you drop your hands, sorry, drop your heels down. Now, I don't want your heels coming into your butt. Like you're kicking, yeah, I want this whole structure lowering down. That whole femur or that whole big part of your leg between your knee and your hip is lowering down and scooping all the way up. That's it, y'all. We are almost there. With the core, we have 30 seconds left here. Woo! Remembering to squeeze those inner thighs up and in as you move it. Give me eight more counts. In seven, playing around with lifting that head. Four more. Last three. Two for two. And last one. Both legs come down. Simple crunch. Take it all the way up and take it down. Last little bit of core. Take it all the way up. I want you to press back into the palm of your head, hand so your head is so heavy. Finding that resistance here, not straining in the neck. A lift and a hold, four more counts. And three. Last two. And last one. Beautiful work, y'all. We have a quick stretch. You can leave your leg bent and just peel your left leg and come up to the ceiling or you can just peel this into your chest. A gentle pull in, stretching the back of those hamstrings and glutes. And roll out your ankle. If you're feeling really good, leg can straighten all the way. Beautiful work, y'all. Take it down, switching your leg, just opening up the back side. Circle, circle. Both heels come down. I want you to gently roll it up. We're going to finish like we started. One big roll up. Think hands first. Chin goes into your chest. A big wave. You're going to inchworm your way up. Try and smooth out any creaky parts, any big chunks. You just gently roll all the way up. Circling around. Arms are going to come by your, behind your back, punch down towards your forearms, dip yourself over, just hang over those legs, stretching through that chest. 
rolling up. Head is the last thing to come up. Plant your left arm down. Head goes to the right side. Opening up head, neck, and shoulders. Taking it down, switching to the other side. Staying in these stretches as long as you need. Head roll. Nice big inhale. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Colette Dong from The Nest, and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Like and subscribe for more similar content, and we will see you soon.